Many times people do not believe when I am saying that my production manager, he has the special button and he was just coming to the machine, push the button and machine was starting. But it was really like that. We have three machines which were in the past dealing with Uncut and Fine production. So we would like to build like the triple pillar here from the paper production because we have uncoated fine and we have speciality craft and we see the opportunity for the diversification and to build the container board machine. To follow the agreed concept for OCC line to deliver full scope from waste paper handling up to the storage of the final stock and to reach the guaranteed values uh, that uh, we can deliver proper stock uh, to the paper machine and uh, to reach the final customer quality parameters for our new product on the market, uh, Craft of Wideliner. We have to say it honestly, the Valmet was the only supplier which was giving us the design which was belief from us that this will work. This is good design and for the two ply producing with the hardwood combination and OCC, this design could work. The technology supply have to be state of art, have to be proven technology, but also flexible to adjust the technology for the best purpose. That means for producing the product and the quality what was in the intention for the future. When I look backwards, how successful the startup was that we really started uh, on time and first three days we were running without any web break on the paper machine. This leads us to consideration that also OCC line was running in a well-organized startup. I must say that cooperation with the Valmet team, uh, which came to start this paper machine and our OCC line was also a big driver to the success. Dispersion is one of the crucial things and in the concept phase we were evaluating uh, the benefits between long fraction refiners versus uh, dispersion and according to pilot trials we decided uh, to go with the dispersion. To look backwards I would like to say that uh, it was a good decision. On dispersion stage we exceed uh, the guaranteed parameters regarding the strength properties. It was a combination of hybrid foreman on the print ply and the gap former on the back ply, as well as a very simple and perfect working Trini press concept, as well as with a size press, with a simple film press, which we can get also a good contribution to Frank's properties, which is highly recommended and asked for this product. From a runnability point of view, this paper machine is really something extraordinary. Its paper machine has so big uh, operational window and the uh, possibility to keep the paper on. I must say that this paper machine is, from a runnability point of view, excellent designed and well maintained. From energy efficiency, I see also that this paper machine has big potential. We designed this paper machine on the certain values and we are already one quarter of these uh, values below as it was uh, target. So we have virtual model for all three main parameters, SCT, burst and curves. And especially where I am very happy, we develop together with development the curves measurement. That means appearance, the modeling measurement. This we built together completely new and working very, very well. For me, it's important that there is knowledge behind. So not only the software put the data together and develop this virtual model, but they have to be certain technology knowledge which are helping the IT guy to prepare good programming. So this was for me the one why we decided to go with development. The virtual meal was very helpful. So machine was under construction, was just starting to be built but the people were already walking around the machine. And once the machine was built, they know immediately where is what. So they know the behavior of the machine, they know how the technology is running, 
and how the main technology is influencing the paper machine or how to change the wire, how to change the felts, how to change the row. I would like to see still the yellow based from Valmet here and the green because they are still having good ideas. They have many startups of the other machine, they have the Palo trials and they could still help us in the optimization of the machines. And I believe that that is also an advantage for the Valmet because they could learn something from us and this is the future cooperation what I would like to still continue.